Hey Liverpool fans, have you seen the latest release? At Anfield Index, we've teamed up with Liverpool FC to announce that the brand new 24-25 LFC Nike home kit and anthem jacket are out now, and they're hotter than ever. The brand new kit pays homage to the legendary Rome 1984 side, featuring sleek pinstripe detailing that brings a touch of history to our modern game. Whether you're cheering from the cop or watching from home, you'll feel the spirit of the Reds coursing through every stitch. The best part? You can grab yours today. The new kit and training range are available in official stores, online, and through the LFC store app. Don't wait. Order now and be ready to show your Liverpool pride and style. Get your hands on the new 24-25 LFC home kit and anthem jacket today. Let's make this season unforgettable. You'll never walk alone. I'm Trent Alexander-Arnold. I'm Curtis Jones. I am Cody Gagbo. Putting on the Liverpool top for the first time, it was a dream come true and I'll never forget that moment. The new LFC 24-25 season Nike home kit is out now. Buy it today along with our new goalkeeper kit and training range at your official LFC stores. Online at liverpoolfc.com forward slash store and on the official LFC store app. You will never walk alone. Another day is here and you're ready for it. What to wear? Check. Breakfast, lunch and dinner? Check. Planning for what's next and how to save for it? That's where Bank of America can help. For your financial to-dos, Bank of America has experts ready to help get you closer to your goals. Get started at one of our local financial centers or 24-7 in our mobile banking app. Find a location near you at bankofamerica.com slash talk to us. What would you like the power to do? Mobile banking requires downloading the app and is only available for select devices. Message and data rates may apply. Bank of America and a member FDIC. Thanks for choosing this free Anfield Index podcast. If you'd prefer to listen to this or any of our other shows without adverts, then now's the time to check out Anfield Index Pro. With AI Pro, you can supercharge your entire listening experience. You'll not only get all of our podcasts without the ads, but you'll have them far faster with our quick publish feature available exclusively for subscribers. AI Pro also puts you in the heart of our sound studio with an option to listen to many of our shows live and interact with the podcasters in real time as the shows are recording. Upgrading couldn't be easier. AI Pro is available on all popular podcast platforms and we have our own apps for Apple and Android. Just head on over to AnfieldIndexPro.com and get started today. Hello and welcome to the Daily Red, your lunchtime catch-up on all things Liverpool FC on a Friday on which the most interesting thing happening today is that Mo Salah has shaved his head and Trev Downey and Simon Brunter are taking victory laps as he joins them in the bold brigade. So congrats to the lads on that one. Um, yeah, that's that's literally it. Nothing else is going on at the moment. Um, there is a very good uh, little sit-down that the Liverpool coaching staff, uh, Jürgen, Linders, Krawitz, Akterberg, Mathos and Jack Robinson, the assistant goalkeeper coach, uh, did. It's called the final debrief. It's up on the club's YouTube channel. And uh, it's quite good. It's it's interesting. Um, it's the first time I think I've ever heard Peter Crowd's talk, which is nice. Nice to hear that he does actually have a voice and doesn't just sit there looking grumpy. Uh, he looks quite grumpy in much of the video, but he does have a few laughs and a few smiles. So that's that's nice as well. Uh, I would recommend going to check that out. It's one of the few things I've actually watched um, in recent days because I'm just trying to avoid as much of it as I can. Um, piece up on This is Anfield, entitled Jurgen Klopp Leaves Having Become Everything Pep Guardiola Ever Wanted, uh, which is an interesting angle to take. Um, but the most interesting thing with this is it's is written by Danny Gallagher. and. What I appreciate in this is that he's actually taken ownership of the fact that when Jürgen was first uh, mooted and being talked about by people back in the 14-15 season as Rodgers was absolutely making a mess of things, uh, he was strongly against it and wrote a piece not only in support of Rodgers but basically tearing down Jürgen Klopp and um, he's come out and taken ownership for that and admitted how wrong he was, and it would be great if if others uh, who did the same were to uh, to do likewise, you know, come out and admit you were wrong, come out and admit that you slandered Jürgen during that final season at Dortmund, and uh, don't pretend that you've always been the biggest fan, you know? 
Um, John Achterberg responded to Nat Phillips uh, on Instagram. Nat had put up a post about Jurgen and Achterberg, who's obviously leaving the club to join uh, Stephen Gerrard at Al Etifak. Uh, he re- replied saying, "You're a, you a good defender? You're a good defender, Nat." Good luck in your next move. I think everybody expects that Matt will move on finally uh, this season, years after he should have moved on. Maybe he should have been moved on in the summer of 2021. Um, But for reasons, he has remained at the club and had some success out on loan and and then some wasted time. Um, So for the the good of his own career, great that he's going to... um, that he's going to get a move this summer. Um, there's a piece here about Joe Gomez um, and him talking about his future. I wouldn't read too much into it. He's not going to give too much away in an interview with a, a fan website. So maybe he stays, maybe he goes. Rumours are he wants to go. And him saying publicly that he'd like to stay is is good to hear. But again, might not change anything. Uh, Silverware debuts and conceding first. Liverpool's surprising season in numbers. We'll come back to that. Liverpool FC coach shows up to interview like he wants to sell insurance. That was Jürgen making fun of Jack Robinson, uh, who turned up for his interview in a suit. Robinson, you know, tried to stand up for himself, pointing out that, you know, he's English and English people wear suits to interviews, which is, you know, the, the general way but not so much, I suppose, when you're uh, when you're interviewing with someone like Jurgen. Um, just on the article I referred to yesterday, which Joanna Durkin had put together about Andy Knott, who puts together the um, the mosaics that you see at Anfield. Uh, I noted last night that Matt Ladson, who is, I suppose, the main guy at this is Anfield. He has uh, set up a GoFundMe um, basically to help cover the cost of Andy Knott's season ticket, which is absolutely fair. Now, so far, they've raised £650 of the £765 target. So if you'd like to donate a fiver, uh, just go to at Mad La- Matt Ladson on the, the Twitter machine. And there is a link there in a couple of his posts. So you can do that. Personally, I think it's a really good idea, but I also think the club should be giving him his season ticket. You know, he's he's almost an employee, given what he does. So they should be just gifting him his season ticket. Um, What else do we have here? Da, da, da. There's not a whole lot else on this is Anfield today. It is a, it is a slow news day. I mean, one of the leading stories is about Mo's uh, new haircut. You know, that's kind of where we are at the moment uh, in the news cycle. Liverpool's injury luck did not improve, but the, nor did their ability to stop conceding first. But the 23-24 season had plenty of highs. Uh, we played 58 games across all competitions. We scored 100 and 42 goals, uh, won one trophy, had 15 league points more than last season. Virgil played the most minutes, 4,072. And as I mentioned yesterday, we could see with Virgil towards the end of the year that he was he was starting to look a little bit worn down. I think a lot of that is just the chopping and changing around him. You know, multiple different defensive midfielders, three different left backs, three different partners at centre back, three different right backs, two different goalkeepers. But again, I, I would point to Ederson and his performance in what was game 52 for him in the Europa League final and the energy level he had. And once again, bang that drum that he's the guy to go and get this summer because. Some someone said yesterday it was it was Angolo Kante esque, the energy, the drive, the determination. He's exactly what we're, what we're looking for in midfield. Uh, Twenty two. The number of players who missed a game due to injury 
362, the total number of games missed by those injured players. 35, the number of players used by Jurgen Klopp during the campaign. 39, the total goal contributions of Mo Salah, 25 goals and 14 assists. 12, the number of debut- debutants. Zabozlai, McAllister, Endo, Kwanzaa, Gravenberg, Chambers, McConnell, Scanlon, Danz, Niani, Kumas and Musalowski. Uh, 44, that's the number of goal contributions by substitutes. Between the 76th and 90th minute, we scored, well, it would be like 76 and the end of the game. We scored a total of 40 goals. That's pretty impressive. 23, that's the amount of times Liverpool conceded the first goal. That is just just a shade under 40% of the season. Uh, five, the number of red cards shown to Liverpool players this year. That's that's a lot for us. Really is a lot for us. 19 different goal scorers across all competitions. Salah, Darwin, Gakbo, Jota, Diaz, Zaboslai, McAllister, Jones, Elliot, Van Dijk, Gravenberg, Kwanzaa, Alexander-Arnold, Robertson, Endo, Dans, Kumas, Clark and Connor Bradley. Um, 11, our longest unbeaten run from the nil-nil draw at home to United, which felt like a defeat, up until the 4-1 win over Chelsea, which is one of our better performances of the season. Uh, 41, the most consecutive appearances, that was by Cody Gakpo. 16 years, 8 months and 8 days, the age of Liverpool's youngest debutant this season, Trey Niani, who came on against Southampton. 26, the number of players to be shown at least one yellow card, uh, with Turo Endo had 12. 3,146 days is the tenure of Jurgen Klopp as manager, and 86 days until a new league era starts under one Arnie slot. So there we go. That's everything that they have up at the moment. Let's have a look at Liverpool.com and see if there's any hopes and dreams for us to be sold on today. Arnie slot and Liverpool prove Chelsea reality again after Todd Bowley private jet meeting. Okay. Uh, who is Brian Gruda? Liverpool target beating Luis Diaz and Vinicius Jr. in a key area. Come back to him. Uh, potential Jurgen Klopp replacement said no to Liverpool job three times. No, he didn't. He just didn't. It's about Pep and Linders, and no, he just didn't. I'm Trent Alexander-Arnold. I'm Curtis Jones. I am Cody Gagbo. Putting on the Liverpool top for the first time, it was a dream come true, and I'll never forget that moment. The new LFC 24-25 season Nike home kit is out now. Buy it today, along with our new goalkeeper kit and training range, at your official LFC stores, online at liverpoolfc.com forward slash store, and on the official LFC store app. You will never walk alone. Chelsea star moves closer to exit after Liverpool links and glowing Jurgen Klopp verdict. I assume that's Conor Bra- uh, Connor Gallagher. Tottenham could hand Liverpool transfer boost amid Ange Postacoglu admission. Right, we'll check that. They have a piece about Salah's haircut. There is a piece here about a 25 million defender. Liverpool brain shocked players with surprise exit before Jurgen Klopp. Uh, that is Mr. Buvac. Arsenal could battle Liverpool for Arnie's slot favourite. Went over that yesterday. Justin Bijlow is too injury prone. I don't even think he'll be considered. Liverpool must act fast. That's a picture of Jar- Jared Bowen. We definitely don't need to act at all. Um, Arnie slot first signing could become clearer as 18 million deal may hint at Liverpool target exit. So that's a picture of Mark Wehi. Um Crystal Palace have agreed a deal for Chaddy Rihad, who is the young Barcelona defender, the left-footed centre-back. Uh, I'm not sure that will have any bearing on Mark Wehi because I would assume under 
Glasner when everybody's fit, where he would play right side of the back three rather than left side because he does like to have that balance. Um, I also don't think we'd sign. I, I think Mark Way is excellent. I don't think we'd sign him. We look for giants at centre back. That's just how it is. Um, and Mark Way is a flat six foot, so I don't think we'd be looking to sign him as good and all as he is. Um, right, Liverpool could hand. Sorry, Tottenham could hand Liverpool transfer boost. Let's see. So Dominic Solanke. Oh, I'd assume there is possibly a sell-on clause. Yes, there is. There's a 20% sell-on clause in that. Now, it will probably be 20% of the profit. So if he were to go for, I mean, I don't know what a fair price would be. He's had one really good Premier League season, but he's English and he's a striker. So 60 million maybe, which would represent a 40 million profit. So that would be 8 million for Liverpool. On twenty on twenty percent of the profit, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. I think there's a couple of clubs will be interested in them, so maybe there's a bit of a bidding war. Uh, FFP deadline could give Arnie Slot early shot at first Liverpool signing with twenty five million defender. Oh, this is Murillo from Nottingham Forest, who I, I would I, I think he's excellent. I genuinely do. I would have some concerns about him as a left back in a four, even though he'd be flexing into playing in a left side centre back in a three, being that more defensive player. He's tremendous on the ball. Like I, I could see him in that Gertruder role. But I do just wonder. I do just wonder if he if he might struggle a bit defensively as a left back. I think there's other options that physically might just suit it a bit more. The one knock on him is he's a little bit slow on the turn. Like if he goes one way and then another, he tends to have have issues. Um, anyway, so Brahan Gruda plays for Mines, 19 years of age, Albanian, very highly regarded, Albanian international, born in Germany, uh, very highly regarded. Um, Mines, of course, being a dreadful set of lads, um, they did survive this past season. He played 27 league games, scored three goals. Uh, definitely looks a talented player from the, the two times I watched them play um, to what to see Sep. Sep looked great, like genuinely looked great. I think who scored said he had the highest rating across the season for their analytical or their... Um, yeah, their kind of uh, algorithm, but highest rating in centre back in the league. It's a bit strong, but you know it is what it is. Um, yeah, so his dribbling is is the area where he really stands out. Among the hundred and seventy players with at least as many minutes, only Jamal Musiala and Leroy Sane bettered him in terms of successful take-ons, with Jeremy Frimpong the only one to beat him for progressive carries and carries into the penalty area. I mean, he's not ready to start for us, but, I mean, we we could do it some depth. So, yeah, maybe bring him in and, and loan him out for a year to develop. I think there was a lot of hope that... Um, Musilowski was going to develop into that type of player, and unfortunately, it never quite happened. And he'll obviously leave the club this summer, most likely on a free. I think he's out of contract. So, Anfield Watch, what have you got next for us then? Let's see. I do, I do like the fact that um, there's there's quite a lot of spin coming out about you know praising us for, for different actions and stuff and, you know, getting slot done early and, and all that kind of stuff because other clubs who are really badly run are struggling. But, like, settle down a little bit. You put There's an awful lot of pressure now being put on this guy. There's enough pressure to begin with being Liverpool manager without making out that he's some sort of messiah. 
Uh, reminds me of Sadio Mane. Liverpool legend or urges Reds to sign Premier League superstar. Superstar. Let's see. Oh, Robbie Fowler. It's it's Isak, not Gordon. I thought it was about Anthony Gordon. Um, Isak's going to cost 120 million minimum this summer. There's no chance we're moving for him. Liverpool staff blamed Jurgen Klopp for clubs mounting injury crisis. We'll come back to that. Liverpool to share 997 million fortune as Taylor Swift era's tour. I think that's how much money that tour has grossed thus far, which is incredible. Um, Europa League hero is inspired by one of Jurgen Klopp's legends. I assume it's Luckman talking about Sadio. Let's see. The lead story on Anfield Watch is about Mo getting a haircut. So Duncan Castles, uh, who nobody should ever listen to, um, has basically, you know, led the charge at having a pop at Jürgen. I mean, just go and read the, the Simon Hughes piece on our medical departments and such from a few months ago. Just go and read that. I mean, it does it does point some of the blame at Jurgen, but more so at people that um that he appointed and empowered. Let's see, Anfieldindex.com report. Liverpool set for financial boost from 2016 transfer close. So that is Luis Alberto. Um is Luis Alberto set to depart this summer, set to move from Lazio? Possible. He's been there a long time now. He's been great for them. Absolutely made himself an icon at the club. Icon might be a bit strong, but he's been great for them. Um, he's 31 now. There was talk of him going to Saudi last summer, so maybe that happens this summer. 306 games for Lazio. It's really impressive. Didn't play much the first year. 47, 37, 41, 40, 44, 44, and 43. 52 goals in that time. He's, he's had a really good career. It's just a shame that Brendan Rodgers is an imbecile. Um, if he moves, I, I assume we've got a sell-on clause. I assume that's what that is. Uh, is a piece about Slot, a piece about Jürgen, David Lynch saying Costa Simicus could leave. And then podcast-wise, we have some new ones. So there is the new Scouted, looking at the finals that I mentioned yesterday. There is also the season review with myself and Carl joining Guy to answer his questions. There is a new Scouts or Tommies, which is Jim Boardman and Jay Reed. And then there is another season review. It's part four. It is Nina Kauser hosting Dave Davis and Harinder Singh. I genuinely don't know how many more parts of that there is. Um, I'm sure I was told, but, you know, I don't remember at all. Um, but do give them all a listen. They're all really good and they're all really different as well because everybody has very different views on the season and, you know, what, what's going to take place moving forward. And that is it. That's me for today, folks. That's me for the week. I will see you all on Monday. Take care of yourselves. Don't do anything foolish over the weekend. Enjoy the FA Cup final and enjoy the playoff final, which I think is going to be even more fun because let's be real. Nobody wants to watch Man City win another trophy and nobody ever wants to see United win a trophy. So probably best just to kind of watch that game. Turn it off with two minutes to go. And then just watch the playoff final, which will be more fun. Uh, see you Monday. Bye bye. We hope you enjoyed listening to this Anfield Index show. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel so future podcasts find their way to your device automatically. There's nothing quite like fan engagement, and we'd love to know what you think of anything discussed on this show. The best way to get in touch is over on our free Discord community where both podcasters and listeners debate the hottest LFC topics 24-7. Sign up free now at anfieldindex.com forward slash discord. You won't regret it. You can also follow us on Twitter 
at Anfield Index. And find us on Facebook by searching for Anfield Index. Oh, and before you go, we'd love it if you could leave us a five-star review on your favourite podcast app. It only takes a couple of seconds, and it means the world to the people who create these free shows. Sports Social Podcast Network. I'm Trent Alexander-Arnold. I'm Curtis Jones. I am Cody Gagbo. Putting on the Liverpool top for the first time, it was a dream come true and I'll never forget that moment. The new LFC 24-25 season Nike Home Kit is out now. Buy it today along with our new goalkeeper kit and training range at your official LFC stores. Online at liverpoolfc.com forward slash store and on the official LFC store app. You will never walk alone.